Module 3, Making the Connection. Welcome to Module 3, Engage. This module focuses around the essential question, what does interaction and learning look like in an online learning community? Engaging students online. Creating and maintaining a community of learners is an especially important task for online or hybrid instructors. While there are many things you can do to bring students together while teaching your course, for now we will focus on the elements you can build into your courses ahead of time. Discussions are not the only way to build community or to support group learning online, but they are currently a primary teaching tool for most online or hybrid courses. For the big picture, you will want to think about the fundamental ways students interact with the course material, their peers, and you, the instructor. It is important for students to f not feel isolated in the learning environment. Student to instructor interaction. How are students going to interact with you? Beyond correspondence, emails with questions, and feedback on assignments, it is important to create other means of student-to-faculty interaction. This can be done in a variety of ways. As you have hopefully witnessed in this course, I have not only interacted with you through the discussions and feedback on assignments, but I have used the announcements to regularly update the class, announce new module openings, as well as reflect on past modules. Other methods that are utilized include sending regular emails to students, such as an email if they have not logged on in over a week, or if they submit something, an email informing them it has been received. The goal is to make sure the students feel a connection with you, because when they are most in need, if they don't feel that connection, they're not likely to ask for help. Student to content interaction. What kind of content do you want to provide to your students? You might want to consider a good mixture of materials. In online courses, students will expect a bit more from their courses than just reading the textbook and lecture notes. What other resources do you think are important for synthesizing the course information? You might want to look for good interactive websites, videos, podcasts, or other resources that make their interactions with the content more engaging and more relevant. Student-to-Student -student Interaction How are the students going to interact with one another? Besides whole class discussions, what other ways can you foster student-to-student -student interaction? It is worth considering in developing this type of interaction. As the research shows time and again, students learn much from one another as well as the instructor. Additionally, in the online class, fostering community means students should have different means to interact with one another regularly. Benefits of Online Discussions because of the shift in the roles of instructors and students in online and hybrid courses, intentionally bringing students together to support their learning is more critical than in face-to-face -face courses. Without discussions providing student-to-student -student interaction, online courses run the risk of becoming essentially correspondence courses. In well-designed and facilitated discussions, learners report that being exposed to the thinking of their classmates helps them to develop understanding of the course concepts. Instructors can also observe their students' current level of understanding of the course and redirect or adjust their instruction as a result. Finally, discussion serves as one of the ways for students to feel part of a class community, and most students find that this type of community support helps them significantly in being successful in online courses. Discussion Roles and Components Online discussions are very different than face-to-face -face discussions, and they can play many different roles. They do not have to stand alone as a course component. They can support and or be integrated with other course activities. Much upfront work goes into the planning of a focused, vibrant online discussion. Below are some of the components or tasks that need to be built ahead of time. Alignment with course goals. Rules of engagement to create a respectful learning environment. Guidelines to set expectations for student activity and faculty involvement. 
question prompt or discussion assignment. Criteria for grading. Discussions are generally worth a significant portion of the grade. This becomes a necessity if we expect students to spend significant effort and time in using them as a platform for learning. Facilitating discussions also requires a new skill set, which is different in many ways from managing face-to-face -face discussions. Best Practices Quality Guidelines Learning Engagement Students are asked to introduce themselves to build a learning community. Learning activities are varied and foster instructor to student, content to student, and student to student interaction. Learning activities should actively engage with the course content. Technology tools in media should support student engagement and guide the students to become active learners. Expectations and requirements for student interaction are clearly articulated. Questions. Feel free to post them in the questions form or send me an email, lance.eaton at regiscollege.edu. Thank you very much.